What is up everybody, Garden State Aviation here, back with another video. I'm here on Gemini Jets' website because in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Gemini Jets' April 2022 releases, both 1-400, to Gemini Max, and 1-200. to Without further ado, let's get started. Starting off here at the 1-400, to we have this Air Canada CRJ900. This is in their new livery. Registration is Charlie Golf Juliet Alpha November, and the price on this is $46.95, but obviously the model stores are going to price these models lower because Gemini Jets has worse quality than other manufacturers. Anywho, continuing on down the line, we have this Alaska Embraer ERJ-170. Registration is number 186 Sierra Yankee, scale 1-400, to and the price is $46.95. Here we have an Alliance Airlines Fokker 70. This is in their Vickers Vimy, I think. Yeah, Victor's Vimy. Uh, registration on this is Victor Hotel Quebec Quebec Whiskey uh, VHQQW. That's forty six ninety five. Next we have an American Airlines ch uh, not triple seven uh, CRJ seven hundred ER. Registration is number seven zero six Sierra Kilo and seven zero six SK, and it's forty six ninety five. Then we have two Eastern 777-200 ERs. The first one, registration is number 771 Kilo Whiskey. Uh, and the second one has the same exact registration, number 771 Kilo Whiskey, except this one is in their flaps and slats down configuration. The price on both of these, or the price on the one without the flaps is 61 and the price with it is 65.95. Moving on down the line, we have an Emirates A380, and Gemini just has finally answered our prayers. They have released an A380 in the normal livery for once. This is a completely normal livery A380. I don't think this has happened in three years at this point, so this is a pretty big thing for us collectors. So I definitely do want to go for this, because this is most likely to become really rare really fast, because it's normal livery and doesn't have any stupid livery on it. Registration is Alpha 6 Echo Uniform Whiskey. No, Echo Uniform Victor, and it's seventy ninety five. Here we have a JetBlue Airbus A three twenty one Neo. Registration is number four zero five eight Juliet, uh, and it is fifteen ninety five. This one, I believe, is a re release, as I do know that Gemini Jets uh, did release the A three twenty one Neo. I believe either last year or the year before. Anywho, moving on to the next model, we have a KLM 77-700. Registration is Papa Hotel Bravo uh, Golf India. The price on this is $50.95. Here we have a Logan Air Saab 340. Registration is Echo Sierra, November Sierra Delta, ESNSD. Here we have an S7 Cargo 737-800. Uh, registration is Victor Papa Bravo Echo November. Now, I don't know why they'd release this, especially considering on uh, what's going on in the world, especially with Russia right now. Uh, I do not want to get this model because, to be honest, I don't want to get a model from any Russian airline now because of what's happening. But, um, yeah, anywho, moving on to the last 1-400 to 400 passenger model, we have United 757-200 in their Blue Evolution livery. Registration is number 48127. Now, I do believe this is the exact same registration as the NG models one, uh, but I'll just double check on that after the video. Moving on to the only Gemini Max release in 1-400, to 400, we have their uh, Delaware Co Air Coast Guard uh, C-130. Registration on this is 01057, and the price is $45.95. Moving on to the 1-200 to 200 releases, we have a normal Concord. Registration is Golf Bravo, Bravo Oscar Alpha Alpha GBOAA, and it's $107.95. Moving on, we have a Delta A321 Neo registration, November 501 Delta Alpha. The price on this one is $195. Here we have a uh, Eastern Metro Express uh, de Havilland Dashie. Registration is number 930 Mike Alpha and 930 MA, and it's 7295. Moving on, we have an Emirates A3D in the 50th anniversary livery. Registration is uh, Alpha 6 Echo Victor Golf A6 EBG, and it's almost $200 for a model. My gosh. Continuing on down the line, we have a Hawaiian A330 200. Registration on this one is number 38, Hotel Alpha, and it's hundred fifty six ninety five. Next, we have a Gulfstream uh, 650. This is a very interesting design. Um, I actually like it a lot. Registration, November 654, uh, Golf Juliet. This looks really cool, uh, and it's seventy six ninety five. Then we have two United models. The first one is the Boeing 737 MAX 8. 
uh, number 2725 India, which is 195, and the 757200, uh, which is number 48127. Now, they're actually releasing this in 1 to 200 and 1 to 400 in the exact same release. Gemini Jets should just do this with every single model rather than just releasing them after each other or before each other. Moving on to the last model of this release, we have the Boeing KC-135R and the Seymour Johnson AFB tail. Registration is 623528. And that really is all there is this release. Uh, personally, for me, this is quite a monotonous release. There's nothing that I really need to get. The United 757-200, I already have one from NG. The JetBlue AT-21neo, they don't even fly that to Newark. Uh, and the American CRJ-700 and Air Canada CRJ-9 don't fly to Newark. But uh, I'm not going to get anything from this release. But if you are, feel free to comment down below. And with that being said, that concludes this video. My name is Adam, and I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, goodbye.